Hi kiddo, how are you doing? So today is Wednesday, 19th of January of 2022. And as usual, a great day. It was a nice day, full of really cool things happening. And so I'll start straight. So let me think about it. And actually, again, I take notes because so many things happen, so many tiny things. And, but, you know, I don't want to stop when things are beautiful, when, when you're doing something special, something cute, and write it down because I'm going to start killing those moments which are precious because they are spontaneous, right? So I prefer just to, okay, if I forget some, I may say them another time, or I just may have them in my heart forever, and 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 it's fine. I can live with that. But um, last night was a very weird night. I don't know. I, I've been thinking whether I should talk about this or not. But um, let's just say this. Uh, you know, people watch uh, this may watch i don't know because i'm not not going to promote it in any way at all it's just if people find it and find it interesting good if not doesn't matter it's for you and the only reason i put i mean many reasons one is like well youtube has a lot of storage or if i have to storage it it's going to be tough but another thing that i want you to have access to is the comments of people you know comments usually can be very vicious um social media has become a place where people really put out the worst of of, of the worst in in you know in the comments uh, the, because everyone is now behind uh, their keyboard right they don't show their faces they are they can be very cruel they can be very nasty but this is going to give you a taste of the times you were being raised by mommy and I and then it will give you more context better context of how things were at the moment where you were well a toddler so that's that's the reason and um, a lot of things that I speak are for you they will be normal but for a lot of people are just completely insane from the way we feed you to the not wearing shoes to a lot of different things that are just completely against the grain, against what society has come to believe that is correct or is good or should be. And this is normal because, you know, every era, every stage in history, people in, in those eras have always been convinced that they are right. And everything before was wrong. Everything was a mistake. So probably when you when you watch these videos, it's going to be at least 10, 15 years from now that you really can understand. You may watch them before, but you will not get the full enchilada. Uh, so so, so you, it, it, it will be the same. You, you will see the past like an ancient history where everything was wrong. And probably you're right this time. <laughs> but, but we will have probably, probably new paradigms. I hope we will have new paradigms. And uh, that, that, that will make you believe the same, that everyone will believe in your time, that you guys have figured everything right already and everything else before was wrong. And that's, that's just a, the, the short-sightedness that comes from, from, from the present. It's just the way it is. We don't want to face the fact that we may be having it all wrong. It's very tough for people for the majority of people to accept the fact that we don't know that most things are still a mystery and they will probably remain a mystery forever and uh, it, right now we are at the point in time where we think that science has figured everything out but if you really read science which i do uh, i've done all my life uh, you know white papers white papers research not just media not just a magazine not just the internet well when you talk when you listen to the people who really know like the most advanced scientists the, the most forward thinking people in the world very soon they say well we just don't know you know, the really bright people have the capacity to say, I don't know. 
And that's fantastic because then you have the grounds to explore. Then you have to, the grounds to, to, to think, to analyze, to bring new theories up, to observe and, 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 and come with different um, ideas after your contemplation. But when, unfortunately, the majority of people are not either very educated, very informed, they just don't care to put the time to really learn stuff, to really read stuff, to go deep, and they just think what the media fits them is correct. And of course, the media just takes the first answer. Whether it's right or wrong, it's absolutely unimportant. But something that is simple, that is short, that people can consume with ease and that uh, can sell. So that is what people think is the, all the answers. All the answers are there. But they most, for the most part, we really don't have answers. If you talk to a neuroscientist, he will say, that very soon he will say, well, we really don't know. If you're asking people about the, where the conscious, consciousness is, you know, some people will tell you the brain. Some people will tell you, no, it's not in the brain, which is quite obvious. But for those that are convinced that there is in the brain, they cannot point it out. They cannot, they cannot prove it in any way whatsoever. Right? So, and, and we go like this. If you talk to the person that knows the most about the human eye, very soon will tell you, to be honest, we don't even really know how we see. We are just describing uh, the organ, right? Uh, the, you know, the eye structure and the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the nerve of the eye and the brain, the parts of the brain that, you know, like process the, the vision. But, but in all honesty, how it all comes together, we have no clue. And if, whoever scientist, whoever real thinker, scientist, you, think, you ask, very soon they will tell you, we just really don't know because everything is just so complex, it's so marvelous because nature is above and beyond anything we humans can think. So with that in mind, that, that, that's why like a lot of things I talk about with you this channel will be like what right so one thing that a lot of people still don't want to believe and uh, they just don't want to acknowledge because it's it's it brings it brings factors and elements in, in, in to life that people just don't want to contend with just like before i told you people need sh sweet short simple incorrect answers but they are answers that give give them stability gives them the sense of knowing the things of control the environment is not too um, strange you know like they, 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 they need that to feel less fear of life and because well life because we want certainty as, as human beings so one thing that people don't want to acknowledge even now but most more and more people are just just saying well you know what i don't know but this happened to me and this happened to me so I was, I was meditating. Oh, I was about to meditate last night after doing the video uh, last night. And since very young, I have been able to sense, call, call it ghosts, call it spirits, call it energies, stuck energies, whatever it is. It, it doesn't matter the name, but I, I always know when something is off. So... I was about to sit down and I felt observed from, from the other side of the house. And I was like, hmm. So I know how to deal with it, these things. And, and I just cleaned the, the everything except the room where mommy and you were sleeping. And um, I, I thought, well, I hope that's enough because I didn't want to go in and wake you guys up or, or bother you sleep. So then I sat... And I meditated and it was a great meditation. I really went super deep. And, but the moment I finished, the instant I finished uh, the meditation, mommy comes out of the room and she tells me there's something weird in the room. There's something I am very afraid. She had a really horrible experience and um, 
kind of like a dream, but when you you know it's not like a dream, you know this. It's it's really it it, it is it can be very unsettling, and she felt like like there was a cat right in the in in, in the bed, and and this in, it was just like tick, 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 like 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 all around the bed until she was she realized this cannot be a cat, and you see I'm getting the 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 chicken chicken skin, but uh, so. When she tried to wake up because she realized this wasn't a normal dream, she couldn't. She had that, like, she was paralyzed. And I know doctors say that it's apnea and it's uh, you know, all these kind of things. But this is just people that are trying to rationalize something um, and stay away from anything that they cannot see or prove with their senses. But the mere fact that I knew, right, that, that something was off before and I cleaned and I was okay but then well this went into the room and bothered you guys and you were also very on not not, not resting well so I so I did just rem I did what I had to do to, to clean the room and everyone could, could sleep better but it reminded me that for the last two days when you were we were getting you to sleep you kept pointing to the door like if you were seeing someone in the door and you were like, uh, uh, like, daddy, do you know there's something there? And now again, I get the chicken skin. So, so I realized that this is not the first time. I, to, to be honest, I knew it before, but you just don't want to know it because again, it brings uncertainty. It brings like really weird, but I know that babies can see, you know, a lot more than we can because they haven't been conditioned and because i mean you guys are like wide open to everything and, and you see stuff that it's it's just more like multi-dimensional than, than 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 we adults can see so then then yeah i realized that, okay I, I told mommy you know when and because this is not the first time uh when you when you see um our kiddo looking constantly to a corner to some window to something uh, just just let me know so then i can i can manage those uh, kind of energies because definitely definitely you are very aware of those things and you're not scared because there's nothing really to be scared about uh, but uh, but it's good that, that that to know that you are one of those kids that really can see and just to be aware that so I can clean all energies from from where we are and then we can have good night sleeps, uh, sleep got good night sleep. But that was the night time and uh, we slept okay, but then not perfect because the energy wasn't hundred percent perfect. But hey. And maybe in the future, I'll tell you some stories that I just heard from a very good friend of mine in Mexico that, you know, when people tell me these things don't exist, it's like, you know, like, just, just don't bother. Because, right? for example, this, this friend of mine, she actually, her mom just passed away and she actually came to one of her friends, not to my friend, to a friend of her, my friend. And she actually gave her instructions on how to f find certain things she 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 had hidden almost all her life, so she would reveal very strong things to my friend. And um, she received the, that message from her friend. She went. She looked for the things that the friend told her that her mom had told her in. On, in the dream and she found the it was boxes with documents that I'm not going to say more because it's extremely sensitive all I can tell you is that hmm, she had lived a lie all her life and a mother didn't have the balls well of course the guts to tell her the truth before dying so she came back and told someone the truth well like the beginning of how to find the truth and uh, and it was all legit. I mean, it's true. I mean, I, I was really, whoa. So anyway, that happened last night. And so from now on, I'm going to be very careful when when I see that you are seeing something just to clear stuff so so we don't have, a, 
you know, nightmares and all these kind of things happening. So, well, that's a little bit of the ghost story of today. And so that was the first thing. Then in the morning, I woke up and now you have a favorite, new favorite song, which is like, um, what is, what's the name? Mm, I put it here. Mm, ah, I'm sexy and I know it. <laughs> so, so that's, you know, from LMFO, last my fucking ass off yeah um and, and now you love it <laughs> so you, you you you're dancing every morning you just go and you dance but this time you're dance, doing something very funny which is like you you're dancing and suddenly you stop and suddenly you bring your leg up like a sumo 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 fighter that is about to put both legs on on stage to start the fight so or like a, like a dog that is going to pee on the wall <laughs> you do that for some weird reason and then you just start spinning and dancing like crazy so that was, that was cool uh, as, as usual i just love seeing you and um and we were just like dancing like for i don't know 10 20 30 minutes daddy loves dancing i haven't danced in a dancing place forever because i just don't find it interesting anymore but with you i just dance all the time and um that was it then, uh, yeah, and then I came back, right? And, and I fed you. You only eat meat. That's the only food you eat. Oh, well, you eat sometimes eggs, but you like them not so much. And you like cheese. You love cheese. Uh, so mom made some, like, hamburger, you know, just big beef, right? Like grounded beef, minced beef, and just... You know. So I fed you... It's uh, it, uh, again, it's one of the things that I love the most feeding you because it's so beautiful and I connect so much to you, right? Then we went to the park because, um, I mean, I want to legalize your documents, which is fantastic. On Friday, I will have every single document that the embassy needs for you to become a Mexican national. I hope that's good for you. <laughs> but hey, it's not like uh, that it's easy to be a national of many other countries. So, um, but, oh, I, I took you to this park. It was kind of closed, like semi-closed for like a year and a half uh, in Sok. And it's amazing how they made this amazing job. They took the land that was like... Uh, behind the, the park that had always has always been there and they made this amazing landscape of kind of like a swamp park kind of thing very not trying to copy japanese style or english style parks uh, gardens but but very 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 southeast asia very very thai kind of park which i've never seen before really beautiful and it has something they call skywalk which is like you know, like like it, it's it's a place where you can walk and and you go above like five six meters above the ground, so you have a nice view of the whole park and all the really super modern buildings that that they have around that area. And we were there, and you were as usual. We took the tricycles, right? So so you would not get too tired. Uh, but after just a few hundred meters, you were like, I'm out, you know, you're, you're just too active to be on a tricycle too long. Uh, but uh, why, why not pushing the tricycle, right? Because you, you love pushing stuff. So you, <laughs> again, just pushing like, like a couple of kilometers, which is quite, quite a lot for, for, for a, a kid your age. Right? But, but you love it. Just but then, you know, this is the funny thing. Then your mommy starts, everything is perfect, right? But because mommy is so tired, right? Like sometimes she's so exhausted that, you know, she like, this is one thing. And the other thing is that when women are moms, they become super irrational. <laughs> it's just like, you know, and it's okay because nature made them that way. Nature made sure that when a woman or a female of any species has kids, babies, they become just overprotective and, and, and they don't understand rational stuff. They just want to protect their kids and they will 
kill themselves or kill anything that comes close to, you know, being dangerous to their to their uh, babies. So this time, mom was like, she worries about everything, right? And she's always trying to protect you, even from things that are not dangerous at all, right? And she's like, oh, you know, oh, maybe he's going to be get, get too tired, overtired. And, you know, when babies get overly tired, they, they have a difficult time sleeping. But it's not so much that they get tired, but when they want to sleep and they don't get to sleep soon enough, but it's, it's that time that they're close to bedtime, that they're already at home or close and they just can't sleep in that moment that they get they, they get so anxious, they get so desperate. They, it's kind of painful, I guess, that they, that, 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 you can, that you guys cannot sleep right at the moment that you need it the most, that later you cannot relax. But it's not because necessarily you get tired, but because the time that you need to sleep, you can't. And this is something that because your mommy does everything so slow, it used to happen to her that that even we were at home or she was at home with you, she would take so time, so much time in each little step that by the time that she was ready to get you to sleep, you were already like desperate because you couldn't sleep. Maybe it was not much, maybe 20, 30 minutes before, uh, uh, before. But it happened. But in this case, she started like, no, he's getting too tired. He's getting too tired. I'm like, no, no, he's okay. I mean, we have to trust our kid, one. And two, you know, it wasn't that much. And it wasn't a hot day. Actually, it was a very mild weather for, for Bangkok. But she started like, uh, uh, and she puts a lot of pressure, right? And whatever I say, you know, when a woman goes that way, buddy, just shut up. Or really be so careful with your answer because everything you say is going to be taken against you, no matter what. And I don't take it wrong, but it, of course it's it's stressful for me because I'm trying to say like, okay, what is the right answer? Like, dear God, just protect me. <laughs> like, give me your divine wisdom. So every answer is the perfect answer and it doesn't trigger more. But yeah, God didn't, didn't, happened to be available at that moment <laughs> so, but the funny thing is this kiddo you know mom is like ah, yeah it's, it's too much he's getting tired i'm trying to get you inside uh, on the tricycle so you rest and of course you don't want i want you to you know i want to hack you and carry you of course you don't want because you're just so happy and excited that you're pushing your little tricycle but the worst part buddy is this one we finally make it back to the you know, like pretty much to, to the car. And she's like, oh, so fast. I'm like, really? I mean, you've been like so worried that, that, that we are so far with it. He's making that you are too, make, making too, too much of an effort and you're going to be tired. And once when we are back and she should be happy that we're back so you can rest and you don't get more tired. She's, she's kind of complaining that it was too short. I'm like, uh, <laughs> so you know this is this is not a video to to make fun of mom or say anything bad about mom but it's like the inconsistency in the logic is just like uh, okay but anyway but hey that's the way that's that's the way women are buddy that's the way and that's and we love them straight still anyway so but that the, what i li like a lot is of course during the, 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 the trip, right, going on, on the car to the park and then back to the house, you just demanded every single time to have the, the uh, um, I'm sexy and I, and I know, and I know it's song. So we were, you, but, but after the park, you, and after all the physical stuff, you're so pumped. You're just like, and you listen to the songs and of course you cannot do this like with the head, with the rhythm, but you just start like shaking <laughs> because you're so happy that song is, is the song that you like and, and you love it. You start like, and then you start like, <laughs> That's like, but you don't do it normally. But after physical exercise, after after like the other day that you were lifting heavy stuff, heavy stuff, you're so pumped and 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 I can see the aggression and not violence. This is something that you have to understand. And 
um, in society today, if you say aggression, it's it has very negative connotations. When in fact, aggression it's a very important part of the human nature. And you, you, aggression, for example, great sportsmen, every sportman and sportwoman and sport ant and sport whatever it is needs aggression you know like like when you go for the win in business or in even if you like a girl a lot and you decide that hey i'm going to talk to her right now that is aggression that 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 strong will to do something is aggression and it's very positive and we lack sorely this factor this this element of personality in society today most men men snowflakes man snowflakes and and, and you believe me <laughs> it, it won't happen with us don't worry i have your back on that anyway so you're like just super pumped and, and i just love seeing you like this then what did we do and then um yeah, oh, and then, the, <laughs> this is amazing, buddy. We, we come back, right, and I'm playing with you. Because <laughs> that's all I do with you. Just play and play and play. And mommy's like, I'm hungry. I'm like, okay. Yeah, good, eat, right? <laughs> Which is, first she asked me, do you think keto is ready for for bed? And I'm, I'm look at you because I try to gauge if you truly are ready for bed or not really. Because if it's not really, we only take you there and you're just like anxious of, of having to slow down, having to not move, having to eat and have to sleep. It's like it's like any of us, right? I guess not because you're a, 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 a baby. It means that you're any different from us. And if you put some, if you put me or mommy or anyone to bed when you're not sleepy, when you're not tired, well, you just can't, right? It's kind of stressful that you someone wants you to sleep. Well, you can't sleep. So anyway, so, so I try to gauge. I like, I'm not sure. I mean, I, you know, inside my mind, I'm just thinking, he does look tired, but he doesn't look sleepy. Guess what happened? Mommy got angry. <laughs> not angry, but a bit irritated. I'm like, what did I say? And she's like, nothing. As every mother, will, as every woman will say when you ask, you know something is happening. <laughs> there's, there's no, I mean, it's like a volcano fuming and lava like spewing everywhere. And you ask the volcano, is everything okay? Yeah, I'm okay, I'm cool. Why do you ask? It's like maybe because of the lava and the smoke and, and you know, and the deadly gases that are coming off from the top of your head. No, 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 I'm cool. No, nothing. But... You, you, you know, when a woman says nothing, that's a big problem. There's something, or there's a lot. But then she told me, you know what? Like, what? Next time I ask you for help to, to, to take care of keto while I cook, I wish you could say yes. I'm like, <laughs> what? I mean, <laughs> what? You didn't ask me. Could you please take care of keto while I cook something because I'm hungry? You said, do you think keto is ready to bed for bed? <laughs> so, <laughs> how can I answer <laughs> one thing when I'm getting asked a completely different question, right? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> like, you know, if you want me to answer the correct way, well, for... for of course, she could just have asked me the correct question. But to make sure that I don't screw up again, the easiest thing is to just give me, you know, like, like multiple options. And then every option is the same option. So I cannot miss the right answer. <laughs> it's just, I was just like, this is too much. Go and cook and I take, take care of keto because I'm taking care. But, but you said, you didn't say that. like, why do I have to say that? First of all, you didn't ask answer that, ask ask me that. Second, I am already with him, and I've been with him the last twenty or so minutes. So it's not exactly like I have to do anything else other than what I'm doing right now. So 
she she but but she has been in a fantastic mood overall uh she's just too tired because the last three nights have been just too eventful so again no criticism i love i love your mommy to pieces she's extraordinary uh, and i love her with all my heart and this also honestly this makes me love her because because she's also very she she's humble enough to later come and just like kind of like rob herself and you know, like I, I know i'm crazy i know i did wrong and 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 and, and, it's, and that's it and and she's funny you know because in the park we were watching <laughs> There's turtles on the lake. There's a lake, and and she's every time she sees a couple of animals, she says that it's like a husband and wife or spouses. I'm like, this is nature. I mean, <laughs> animals don't marry, and not because just two animals are together. They are male, female, and they are in love <laughs> and they're having babies. But but she is. Uh, she's she's like a kid in many ways when she asks questions of different sorts and when she makes this kind of statements i feel like i'm with like four to six years old which is cute and and again you know once if you really love someone you love them unconditionally meaning even if they can be nasty sometimes if they can be confused sometimes if they can be Uh, I don't know, difficult sometimes. The love should always be there. You know, even if you're upset, love should be there. If you don't, if, if, if w this happens a lot that we think we love, but two minutes later we hate and then we love again and then we hate again. And that's not, cannot be love. Love cannot turn into anything other than more love. So anyway, mommy, crazy stuff, turtles. Ah, and these turtles kind of, met in the middle and it seems like they either fucked or they don't like each other much or they were in, ter in the other turtles territory i don't know much about turtle behavior but okay that, that kind of observation i love and um and that's it and then we finally finally we went to to bed and guess what you were not ready to sleep you were just like Stand, not standing but kneeling and then just doing this and just just, just letting yourself like straight <laughs> you know straight down the the, 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 the to, to the bed always landing on your face I don't know why you like that so much but you did like maybe 30 maybe 40 times and then mommy tries to force you to 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 to, to suck milk and then you don't want and then you pinch her nipples <laughs> You don't really pinch, but because your 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 nails are so tiny and so sharp, you know, she gets a lot of damage from your from your nails. And a, a lot of time you do it. Because I see it. You do it because you are tense, you're stressed, you're anxious, and it, it's it's like one of those. Well, like 10, 20 years ago, we had these balls. They called them stress balls, and people would have them, and they would be just like squeezing, 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 supposedly to to let some steam out, right? So I see you do that, and unfortunately, mommy gets a lot of damage from you sometimes. So so that triggers her a lot. Anyway, so you couldn't sleep, and I told her, you know what? Let's just let, let let's go out a little bit just just to, i don't know 10 minutes or something and and then just let him just relax because because you know you can't force someone like you sleep sleep now sleep now because i said so it's not nice i don't i don't want you to have this emotional bad ugly relationship with sleeping because your granddad had the same problem i have the same problem Uh, I don't want you to have it or I want it, uh, if it happens it's not because of us okay so we took you we, we left you out again in the apartment and you found a box that we we didn't hide but we didn't make evident it was here we didn't show it to you um, and that box has this which is a super cool gift that mommy found for you you have a look 
it's like a marimba. I, I don't know how there's other instruments, but to me, as a good Mexican, this is a marimba. And or xylophone, I think they call, or but I think that's metallic. I'm not sure about that. But it's also a dog and it has wheels. Mummy, these kind of toys, you cannot find them in many places. At least in Thailand, it's pretty much impossible. In Thailand, you get all the high-tech electronics, and but that, that's kind of rubbish. You know, it's very, they, they're not durable. They don't help you much to, they're, they're just really, you know, I don't know, materialistic uh, stuff but but this is like really high quality and mommy gets them from someone that imports them from japan they're second hand because again you simply cannot find them first hand or new in in in, in the country so she found you found the the box and you every time you see a box you think it's yours every time so when <laughs> I buy. I booked before before arriving from the park. I booked some medicine, not medicine, but the stuff that mommy takes not to have babies. And uh, you also love those boxes. Every box you see, you think it's yours and it's to play, it's to make noises. And most of them, if they're big enough, they should have some kind of gift for you. I don't know, life. And I said, okay, open it, open it. Since you found it, I was not, I was not planning to, to give it to you today. It actually has been in, it had been in the apartment for like a week because two different toys came on that box and we already gave you one of them. So, uh, which is a really cool little train. But anyway, you see? How is it? So you have a real, they have the real notes from Do. That's it. And you loved it. You spent like probably half an hour playing with it. You liked it very much. You hit it very hard. <laughs> and that's it. So kind of, that's kind of a day what we had today. Uh, it's so beautiful. Beautiful day. I love being with you. I love seeing life through your eyes. I'm happy. I'm happy. And you're a good part of that happiness, that contentment, that satisfaction, that knowing that, well, I'm doing something that is meaningful. Very, I, you know, work and other matters or yeah yeah but you know i've seen it all <laughs> i've done it all and i know that a job is a job a business is a business they, they do bring satisfaction but they're very momentary and you know like anyone else could do it that's it that's a simple truth we are very replaceable but in this case of course, I could be replaceable if something happens and mommy finds someone else in the future, right? Yeah, but but the real daddy, it's kind of very special. Same as mommy, right? Same as you. I couldn't ever replace you in any way or shape or form. So just being with you is the only one thing in life that matters to me. The rest is just circumstantial the rest is just stuff like i have to do but but it doesn't bring any i mean i'm, I'm happy doing whatever i do i enjoy that's one thing that i can tell you yep but nothing like being with you kiddo nothing in the world so today i'm going to hurry up Probably I'm going to meditate in bed because I haven't slept well in three days. But thank God, because I'm meditating so hard, I'm, um, my energy levels are amazingly good. And uh, yeah, but tomorrow I have a, not a long day, but I do have a, quite a bit of things to do. And one of those things is I'm going to do voiceover. They called me and they want um, 10 hours of voiceover, which I actually enjoy doing very very much and that's it so kiddo i love you with all my heart as usual all the best and have a great life i don't know 
again, I don't know how old are you. I don't know where you are in life, in, in the world. I don't know where I am right now that you're watching this video. Just be happy. It doesn't take much. It's a, it's a decision and it's a habit. And I hope I have given you that habit and that and helped you take that decision consciously long before you see this video or this, you watch this video. But if something happened in the long the way in a few days ago or, or a week ago or a month ago, you're not centered, you're not in the best place, just remember this. Just this is a reminder. All we are here to do is be happy. The rest doesn't matter. Love you. And I'm super proud of you.